paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that anybody's ever seen were a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license, and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid, so that makes if me he's smart. paid, that makes if me he's smart. Paid. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Ultra Freedom Guy channel. That was Trump letting us know that if you are smart, you are doing everything in your in your power not to pay taxes, right? Imagine if whenever you got paid, you were able to take home your gross income. I I I surmise most people wouldn't complain about their money if they got their gross income. But you don't get your gross income, you get your net income. Why? Because the government takes that, you know, take take their share. <laughs> they don't trust you. They take their share. Um so I've been sharing this book called Tax Free Wealth right? Uh, Tax-Free Wealth is a book written by uh, Tom Wilwright. He is the CPA of Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki is a guy who wrote, who wrote um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, but in Tax-Free Wealth, he goes over the tax code, why the tax code is actually good, that, that the tax code is actually contrary to popular belief that is geared to lower taxes, right? And it's geared to lower taxes for businesses and investors and you know you'll say why does the government want to lower taxes for people that are already making money what well two reasons big businesses create job employment that's what the government wants the government wants more people employed and number two the reason why so many people invest in real estate is because they have incentives and subsidies for real estate investors. Why? Because the government wants affordable homes. So tax free wealth goes over a lot of different things that you can put into place, how you can live your life to take advantage of these um, tax incentives and subsidies, right? Um, and so this is why you hear Trump saying that he's smart. And I'm gonna show a clip right now that um, another debate that uh, Trump and Hillary um, uh, did a couple of years ago, and you're going to hear Trump say the main tax code that he takes advantage of. Did you use that $916 million loss to avoid paying personal federal income taxes? For of course I do. Of course I do. And so do all of her donors or most of her donors. I know many of her donors. Her donors took massive tax write-offs. So a lot of my, excuse me, Anderson, income tax a lot of my write-off was depreciation and other things that Hillary as a senator allowed. And she'll always allow it because the people that give her all this money, they want it. That's why. See, I understand the tax code better than anybody that's ever run for president. Hillary Clinton, and it's extremely complex, Hillary Clinton has friends that want all of these provisions, including they want the carried interest provision. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, Chapter 7 out of Tax-Free Wealth book um, and the highlighted parts, right? So... And what does chapter seven say? Depreciation, the king of all deductions. This is what Trump was trying to put people on. He was like, hey, man, I'm, it's not that I'm not paying taxes. I'm not paying it because the this is the tax code. I'm taking advantage of the tax code. And as a business person, as a business uh, owner, as an entrepreneur here in America, I have every right to take advantage of the tax code because the tax code is geared to lower taxes for businesses and investors, right? Um, so here's the appreciation. It says depreciation is like magic, I told him. You get a deduction for something that doesn't cost you any money. You create money out of thin air. And that really is the magic of depreciation. When you buy an asset that produces income, you can deduct a portion of it each year you own it. If it's physical asset, if it's a physical asset such as real estate or equipment, deduction is called depreciation. If it's an intangible asset, one you can't feel or touch, such as a customer list or computer software. So again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not just for real estate. If you are a business owner, if you own a business and you buy laptops, you buy printers and you buy all the physical things that you need assets to help you run your business, you can get a depreciation for 
those items. If you are a chef and you buy recipes or you are a writer and you buy manuscripts and license things, those um, intangibles are also can be can also be deducted. Those are called amortization, um, but they're all the same. So if you're not getting those tax, um, uh, if you're not taking advantage of those uh, those incentives and those subsidies that the government is giving, not towards individuals, but to businesses and investors. And if you are a business owner, you're still not going to get the full um, tax advantage until you get, they say, like around 500 or so employees until you're like a big business. So this is why companies like Amazon don't pay taxes. People say, oh, Amazon's not paying taxes. They're not paying taxes because they're following what the government wants them to do, which is create employment, right? So they're creating more job opportunities for people in America, and they're taking advantage of that uh, that tax incentive for creating jobs, right? Um, and you can too. Either you're going to create jobs or you're going to create affordable um, homes for people, or you're going to invest in the um, market and where the government wants you to. So if the government is giving um, incentives and subsidies for people to invest in energy, you should be investing in energy, in, in energy right? Um, so you're going to gear your portfolio based on what the government wants people to invest in if you want to take full advantage of um, you know, the tax code or tax benefits, right? Um, so that's that. Make sure you get that book, read it, um, and understand it. So now at the beginning of the year, you can begin gearing your life around the tax um, code or the tax advantages that you want to partake in, right? Uh, so let me show you my blog. Uh, I wrote about it because I want to attack this information on all angles, um, video, audio, and reading for people who like to read, right? So here's an example that I use, a real life example that I use. So if you're a W-2 employee, if you're somebody who works um, you are, you work for the postal office or you work for Walmart or you, I don't, I don't know where you work. Right. But say you have a job, you're a W2 employee, right? Um, here's the example that I give. I give an example on this paragraph right here. And I say, if you purchase a rental property for $200,000 and the government allows you to depreciate it over 27.5 years, right? This means you can deduct a portion of the property's value from your annual taxable income. Remember, your annual taxable income, not your rental income, because that is considered passive income and it is taxed a different way from your, your taxable income. Okay. So the amount that you can deduct each year from this is $7,273. And that's calculated by dividing um, the, the property's value by 27.5. That's 3.64% of the property's value or 7,273 you can deduct from your taxable income yearly. So for example, if your taxable income is $50,000, the depreciation deduction will lower your taxable income to $42,727. And this is how you begin to save money. And this is how you get closer to actually getting your gross income from your taxable income. This is extremely powerful. That's what I said. Make sure you go and buy this book. Buy the book. It's a very, very easy read. Um, and you learn a lot. And again, um, it's not telling you to do your, your own taxes, right? It's not telling you to become a CPA. It's giving you the information that now you can pass along um, to your to your your tax person, your CPA. So let me know what you think about this information. Um, do you like the fact that you can get around paying taxes? Matter of fact, the book talks about it is our patriotic duty <laughs> to, to pay as little tax as we possibly can. Why? Because the tax code is geared to help people 
lower taxes. Well, let me not say people. It's geared to help businesses and investors, both things that you can create and be lower taxes. Uh, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think in the comment area below. And again, in case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.